Hello everybody, welcome back to 64100's Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 3. Um, in this video, uh, I'm starting off with the engine boss. He's the fourth boss in Crash Bandicoot 3. And, and you can actually play as Coco. Alright, so what you have to do is you have to, you know, start f firing at, like, any parts that, that, fire that he fires at you. Like the torpedoes and the arms. Like, I would personally go for, for the middle because that's the only one that you can really get, like, all the time. But if you want to start with the arms, hey, I don't care. You can do whatever you want. I'm just offering advice. Usually, you should probably do that in the let's play. I knocked out his arm. As the setting is above the moon, as you can see, because the earth is in the distance. Time for the middle part to explode. There we go. And now that's all left is this. Uh, that's one. And that's two. Alright, so this next part is a little bit more challenging because engine has a lot more stuff. And but you actually get a little assistance from um for the, the tiger, I think his name's Pura. I don't know, but um he I think this is his I don't know, I think first or second appearance, I don't know. But he's like a power boost. Watch out for those things. But, you know, I could not dodge them. They're, they're actually a little bit easy to take out. But, I still get hit, like, almost every time. Yeah, see, I got one. It's just an endless onslaught. Endless of torpedoes. Oh. Just make sure you get rid of all the torpedoes. And that you can just take out without it opening up. Ow. Come on, blow up. This boss takes a little bit longer, but he's still easy. He's probably not easy like the first couple times, but it for his experiences, me as this game, you know, basically all the bosses are easy. And that's engine. See, I got the bazooka. That's pretty good. I'll, 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 what the bazooka does? Wait, hold on. I'll hold on a minute. History repeats itself. Yet again, engine has failed to defeat you. Wah! For this, we must destroy you. Oh, my aching head. I'm not feeling myself these days. So the end is in sight. Gather another five crystals, and again you will have foiled my plan. Or will you? Yeah, I will. So as I was saying, uh, what was I saying? Ugh. Oh yeah, now I remember. The the um, bazooka, um, you press the, I think, R2 or L2 button. I don't know, I can't use it in the warp room. But, um, it's actually really helpful for like nitros and other boxes that you can't reach. So And, and this is the episode, I, or this was the level I was talking about uh, earlier when I was doing Future Frenzy. This is the other level gone tomorrow. This one is a little bit more difficult. As you can see, there's like a robot in the background. And how you defeat it is use the bazooka. Alright, so it's L2. Ah, 
away from me. Okay. A little confusing right there. Ow. You know, I don't have time for this. Oh, my God. Huh, that was funny. Yeah, that's right, I got you. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Oh, yeah, that's right, can't handle my skills. What? You gotta be kidding me. Ah. And I take him with you. here to get the crystal now. This world, you know, it's a little bit uh, tougher to get the gem in this, in, um, in world 5. Because, you know, it's, usually the final of anything is always hard. Ah, oh, so conf See, it's confusing. It aggravates you. Ah. Oh. God, will you move? God. Oh, he's... I still can't really remember how much this really pissed me off. See? No. I just can't deal with this. Finally, God. Well, go back into your shell. God. Yeah, like that. Oh, don't get it. Well, since this is so frustrating right now, um, I'm just going to finish the level. Um, I'll see you next time.